Hi friends, we have decided to create a separate YouTube channel in order to have free access to complete Fillmore templates. The YouTube channel is called Fillmore Templates, as shown above. Please go there to subscribe, as the template for today's tutorial is already there and more will be uploaded soon. Hi, welcome. Let's start by going to stock media to drag down any color. Afterward, click, then go to mask to apply the rectangular mask. Scroll down to scale to 87.04, width, 62.48, and height, 32.55. Then scroll down to invert the mask to create a frame as shown. Now take PNG snapshot. Go to stock media, then press and hold the alt key on your keyboard as you drag down the green color to change the color of the frame to green. Afterward, take another PNG snapshot. Now delete the green frame on the timeline, add a video track, drag down the first frame snapshot on track 2, and reduce it to 4 seconds, or as you intend. Click and go to mask to apply the linear mask, then scroll down to change the rotation to 180. Afterward, copy and paste above as shown. Now click go to mask to apply keyframe point to rotation, then type 0, then move the playhead to the end and go back to rotation to type 360 as shown. Because the duration is 4 seconds, so I moved the playhead to 2 seconds, which is half, then split the snapshot below and deleted the rest. Drag down the green frame snapshot at 2 seconds, then reduce to match, go to mask to apply linear mask and make sure rotation is at 0. Now go to stock media to drag down a green color on track 1, reduce to match, and then preview is shown. Now export the video. Now highlight and delete all on the timeline afterward import the exported file. Drag down any picture, right-click to crop to fit if necessary, add a video track then right-click to copy and paste on track 3 as shown. Further go to effect to apply square blur effect to the picture on track 1. Click, then go to scale down to 70, and scroll down to change rotation to minus 3. Then go to apply keyframe to position and type minus 1673 in position X. Now move the playhead 5 frames forward or to 1 second, then go back to rotation to restore it to 0. Now go to the keyframe panel, highlight position points, and then right click to apply, easy in, as shown. Now click the picture. Then click the crop icon above the timeline. Change the original ratio to 16 to 9. Then go up to click pan and zoom, and adjust the grid as shown. Afterward, click the switch icon on the right bottom corner to switch the grid as shown, and then click apply. Now apply the drop bounce transition, then reduce to match the keyframes. Preview. Drag the imported file down to track 2 as shown, then click the AI tool above and apply the chroma key to remove the green screen. Now go to basic to scale down to 71, then scroll down to rotation, and type 3. 
Further, click the speed icon above the timeline, then go down to apply reverse motion. Right click to copy and paste on track 4, then click and go up to change its rotation to minus 3. Preview Further highlight all, right click to copy, click track 1, then paste B sides. Click the green frame on track 4, go to rotation and change it to 3. Now go to the picture on track 3 and click only the first keyframe point. Then go to position X to type 1673 and rotate to 3 as shown. For the frame on track 2, click go to change the only rotation to minus 3. Press and hold the ALT key as you drag down the picture to change the picture on tracks 3 and 1. Preview Now highlight all, click track 1, and then paste as many as you want, but I am pasting it twice because I am using 6 pictures. To change the pictures from the third row, press and hold the ALT key on the keyboard, then drag down the same pictures on tracks 3 and 1 as shown until the last row. Now go to transition to apply dissolve transition to pictures on track 1, now reduce to 20 seconds. Further, right click on copy transition, highlight other pictures on track 1, then paste and delete the last misplaced transition is shown. Done, so let's preview, but before that, the template for this tutorial with text input and multiple pictures is in the description. So thanks for watching, you are awesome. Hi friends, we have decided to create a separate YouTube channel in order to have free access to complete Filmora templates. The YouTube channel is called Filmora Templates, as shown above. Please go there to subscribe, as the template for today's tutorial is already there and more will be uploaded soon.